Hello again. Now, illegal, unregulated mining has far-reaching consequences in society. The environmental effects pose a threat to communities with possible contamination to water supplies and air quality. Let's discuss this further now with environmental expert and founder of SiteF and Co, Michali Sitefani. Michali, good afternoon. Welcome to today and thank you very much for your time. How big is the impact on our environment of illegal mining activities? Oh, it's incredible. Um, it's because illegal mining by its very nature is unaccounted for. So the mining that's being un undertaken is not in accordance with the legislative framework that would protect the environment and that would protect people ultimately. And so the consequences is that you have unregulated um, mining operations being taken place and very little adherence to the legal framework which protects people and the environment. Where are we seeing the biggest impact? Uh, water infrastructure, water supply, the air pollution, where are we seeing the biggest impact? Look, the biggest impact is seen across the environment. And sometimes when we're thinking about the environment, we don't think about it holistically. When we talk about environment, we're talking about land, air, water, microorganisms, and animal life. And when you are undertaking impacts that are not regulated and that are not approved and you have no intention of mitigating or fixing um, with time, you can see impacts right across the environment in the contamination of the water, contamination of land, unregulated dust, um, and you can name it. The impacts can be very vast depending on the types of operations that are taking place and yeah, the size. And that lead to a lot of risks for human life in and around those areas. Like we saw recently in Bogsberg, when the illegal miners forgot, we don't know if they did, to close that gas cylinder, we ended up with a number of people dead. Absolutely. The thing is, when you are undertaking any activity in accordance with, um, not in accordance with the legal framework, you run all of those risks. And of course, fatalities go hand in hand with a lot of the illegal mining that we are seeing. And so whether it's um, fatalities as a result of health and safety issues or fatalities as a result of violence that goes hand in hand with the illegal mining, people do die and people are impacted. And not just the miners um, themselves, but the community uh, surrounding that particular operation. Is regulation the best way out? or should illegal mining not be allowed at all in the interest of the environment? The thing is, what we want to see is a regulatory framework that is being enforced. So regulatory framework must go hand in hand with enforcement of that regulatory framework. South Africa is a mining uh, country and we have vast mineral resources that should be exploited. And so, uh, a, a regulatory framework that allows true entrance people who are legitimately trying to enter the mining sector and actually mine whether it's artisanal and small scale but who do so lawfully should be encouraged to do that so that the gdp um, can benefit and the people of south africa can benefit as a whole but what cannot be permitted is the unlawful mining where people are unregulated and do as they please Thank you very much for your time this afternoon on today. That's environmental expert and founder of SciTef & Co, Michali Sitefani.